Hi, passionate learners. With me again, Siska. And now I would like to share another topic. Basically, it is taken from the same speech uh, from Paul Epstein that day that the topic given was help that is given. But I'm going to just break the topics to uh, subtopics so we can understand each better. So for this one, it's the summary for directories. Epstein said that basically as directories, there are three things that we are conducted uh, that are do, those are do, show, and observe, right? Now the question is, when? When do you do for them, for the children? When do you show them? And when do you need to just observe? It's not an easy question. Uh, and I think what we need to do is to have lots of practice to be able to answer this. And the children that we are working with will give us with abundant opportunity for us to practice to be able to answer those questions. Epstein said to answer those questions, there is no one right answer. So everybody can answer differently. And those, ans those answers might also be right, depending on the situation, depending on the child. Why? I will discuss later on. One thing that we need to keep in mind that we will do, show, observe, in order to help the personality to achieve the independent. So answering when do we do, when do we show, when do we observe, we need to base our judgment, our decision on this independent. The interesting thing about independent is that Epstein said there are two personality that is going to be that are going to be developed to be independent. So the personality is the adult and the child. That's why I was saying that the child will give so many abundant opportunity for us adult to also practice our independent in the Montessori practice. We do want to be independent in terms that if we see a situation with a specific child and we ask ourselves when do I need to do when do I need to show when do I need just to sit and relax and observe to answer those questions we we want to be independent right we don't want to always ask for somebody's opinion and it's a skill that we need to build and the child will provide the opportunity for us to grow and to build the skill. We need to thank Dr. Montessori that described facts of human life and credit to Paul Epstein for sharing this to us. These facts of human life may Epstein say that there is no one right answer. Because if you ask me to some situation 
to answer, to show and observe, it's very difficult because no two children are the same and no two children learn at the same time. So, Ain might read at five. My son might, might read at five. Another son read at maybe seven. And for that, what we need to do is just to show and then again observe. So this is the guideline for us to do what we need to do and go back to these facts of human life to not to easily judge the child and compare it to another child. Yeah. Another facts of human life are when we are interested, we become motivated. For example, like all of you who are now taking the diploma, you must be very interested in children. That's why you are motivated in learning more about children, right? And then when you are motivated, you choose to take this diploma, you engage, you then investigate more, explore, trial and error, and then you discover, oh, I finally found out that for this child, I need to do this, for that child, I need to show that, and for another child, I need just to observe. And we, also the child, will only learn when we are ready. And when we develop coordination, we can choose from choice to be disciplined. Instead of just moving around, if the child develop coordination, then he can sit, work properly. Yeah. Also, the interest of the child is something that commonly being asked by um, Bahasa online diploma students about why their children at home are not interested in the material on working with the material that their mothers have provided. The only answer is maybe they don't interest yet. And the next question is what we need to do, what we need to show, and what we need to observe. The next question after when is how. How do we help? How do you know when you should do for a child? How do you know when you should show? And how do you know when you should just observe? Let me give an example. Uh, let's say I'm working with 12 months old, old baby that she is, I'm going to help her to eat independently. Now, answering the first question, how do I know when I should do for a child? We need to do for a child, right? Because the child might not ready to do by herself. So I need to cook a meal that may give her an opportunity to eat by herself, let's say a finger snack or I need to prepare the environment so she can sit by herself and eat by herself. Answering the next question, how do you know when you should show? Maybe when I see that this girl is interested in learning to hold a spoon, I can show her how to use the spoon to eat 
by eating together with her, showing her how to use the spoon, how to scoop the, the snack, the food, yeah. And answering the third question, how do you know when you should just observe? It is maybe when she is eating, she is calm with her food, she is enjoying it. I think can observe or maybe she is fussy, she cannot eat with what I prepare, then this is the time that I observe myself, observe what I have done. Maybe I can make a, a change. So everything that I provide to this girl might be different. Yeah. If I'm working with another girl. Yeah. Okay. So this is the final reflective question that once again, no one right answer. So the right answer can be abundant, yeah? Depend on the situation. And this reflective question is very useful for me, myself, to keep asking. Because if we talk about independence, zero to six independence will be different with six to 12 will be different with 12 to 18 will be different to 18 to uh, 24 independence so as our children grow we need to do this again and again and again so that they can achieve the independence they need on their age yeah why do we do sometimes we should help to do things for a child that he is not ready to do maybe this is the answer but this is not one right answer i need to clean my son's room because he's not ready to but when i see that he is ready to then I'm going to show, yeah? And then I need to observe whether my do or my show lead to his independence. So I will leave this reflective question for you as well to guide your day-to-day -day life working with children and i hope this benefit you as much as it benefits me thank you for listening